Goggles. I'm looking forward to the worship experience and the fellowship, getting to know people and also just being in God's Word. I glued back together the broken pieces of a vase you found out back of some old abandoned church. Favorite thing about camp? Um, I think I'm honestly excited for the swimming pool. Will, it, will we be going kayaking while we're here? I'm not really answering the questions. It's kind of your job. Oh. Water skiing it is. Dragons can be awesome. Water skiing it is then. Water skiing yeah. and Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. So what inspired you to dye your hair? <laughs> Oh gosh, Dang it. You're a leader, You're not a follower. Six. What is the weirdest thing you brought to camp? Him. Him. <laughs> <laughs>
a little overheated, a little sleep deprived. So normal and great. The two biggest things that I took away from camp, the friends that I made and the like relationships I grew and the relationships I got stronger. about grief and that it is okay to feel grief and to cry and to be emotional and that that is something that we should do. first time like actually having a leadership role um, and like as a worship leader I was able to kind of see growth in people in like a tangible way. I just like to hear a lot of students open up. You know a lot of the students aren't very open people and so getting to hear their personal stories is just actually relate to my brother and speak to him about whatever I may be going through. Christ really is all, even as a human and as God, we can glean so much from Him and still we can't even, with this life we're given, understand the capability and capacity of His love, greatness and kindness for us. 